Hello everyone, this is a brief overview of our final year project. The topic of our project is USB IP core development, specifically the link layer and physical layer. The team members are Maha, Sanji, Sumeya and myself Jayalakshmi. We are guided by Sri Jodhi Sindhrabai as our external guide. The main objective of this project is the testing and simulation of link layer and physical layer of USB 3.2. The RTL behavior of the system is verified using Verilog HDL and the simulation is done using iCaris Verilog and GTK Wave. This is the architecture of USB 3.2. It includes two simultaneously active buses. One is USB 2.0 bus and an enhanced super speed bus. This has mainly three parts, super speed interconnect, USB device and USB host. Super speed interconnect describes how the device are connected to the bus and how they communicate. Device and host are either source or sync of information exchange. Moving into the project, we have the link layer, the USB 3.2 layer responsible for logical connection and communication between two ports known as the link partners. The link layer manages the flow of data between these link partners. We will discuss more about the link layer through its major functions. Number one, packet framing. Every link flow consists of packets and link partners. Packets are used to carry different information and data in the link layer between the device and host. Basically, each packet consists of a header packet and a payload. Header packets have different structures in super speed and super speed plus operations, while the payload structure remains the same. To ensure that the received packets are error free or if they haven't been tampered with, cyclic redundancy check or CRCs are used, which is another function of the layer. Once done with the packet side, we have number two, the link commands. They are eight simple structures used for data integrity, flow control and power management. The major part of link commands is the link command word, a 16-bit structure with 11 bits of link command data and 5 bits of CRC. These 11 bits determine which link command a port will send to its link partner. There are 12 link commands for flow control, power management and error checking. Number 3, we have the link training and status state machine, also known as LTSSM. It is a state machine defined for power management and connectivity. LTSSM consist of 12 different link states with various functionalities. So moving to the next major part of our project, which is physical layer. Physical layer defines the five portion of a port and physical connection between a downstream facing port of the host and upstream facing port of the device. So the entire physical layer can be broadly divided into transmitter side and receiver side. In the transmitter side, the main components are scrambler, encoder and parallel to serial converter. Scrambler is used to avoid repetitive patterns in the pit stream. It is an optional module, so we haven't used that in our design. The data from the link layer, which is 8-bit, goes to encoder and it is encoded into 10-bit symbols using 8-bit 10-b logic. Before transmitting, this 10-bit parallel data is converted into serial bit stream using a parallel to serial converter. Coming to the receiver side, we have serial to parallel converter which converts the received bits to parallel bit stream again. A FIFO module is used as elastic buffer here. It serves as a buffer and also controls the flow of data. Then the data is decoded into 8 bits again using the decoder module. We haven't used the descrambler since we didn't use the scrambler in the transmitter set. So this is the overall picture of the physical layer that we designed in Verilog. In our project, we have created the digital design of the USB link and the digital layer in Verilog HDL language using iCaris Verilog and the simulated term using the In the link layer, we have divided packet framing in command function link utilization, packet transmission, reception, power management, and the LTSSM into various modules, code down and verify the final results. Similarly, in the physical layer, the transistor and the receiver side were split into separate modules, coded and instantiated to form the digital layer behind. 